So now that we create a website, in this video, we're going to show how we are going to get that website on the internet. Right here, we have the No Gym. Basically, this is a, a index HTML file and a style CSS. And let's going to see what we have right here. We're going to say open. This is the website that we create. As you can see, basically, it says No Gym, a problem. And basically, it tells you how to do exercise in your home if you don't have a, a gym. This website is hosted right now in my computer. What we want to do is have this website in the internet. How are we going to do that one? We're going to go to this website right here. This Go to www.b as in boy, i as in ipad, c as in zebra, period, n as in nancy, and F as in Frank, is we're gonna go right here to sign up. This is the application that we need to fill. Basically, see, we have option right here like a personal hosting, business hosting, or free hosting. And this is the one that we want. That's the only thing that we're gonna fill in this page, nothing else. And we go and click continue. Now that we are right here, in this place, we need to put some of our information. In this case, I'm just going to put ER, R, B, company. I'm going to put home, email address. And this is the one that we need to have valid email address. And it's going to, in this case, I'm going to use E, Rubio2, at cyfex.com. This one right here. And the password. The password needs to be something that you will remember easy. Address. Mm. Okay. After we put the information, very important click this part right here and then notify that you are not a robot okay now that we have this part click continue this is the information for your account client ID which is your login ID and your email address at this moment before we do anything else we should go to our email address and see, we receive information about our email. This is the one that we need to review right now. Email confirmation. We click. And right here, the very first link in the top says, please click on this link to confirm your account. We click that one right there. It's asking client ID and the password. The client ID, we can get it for an um, email. And the password is the one that we put before. After that, login. 